Hey guys, what's up? This is Deadly, and it's been a few weeks now since Legion has been released, and I've been loving this expansion. Probably one of my favorite expansions since all the way back in Wrath of the Lich King and Burning Crusade, and from what I can see around the community, a lot of people do agree. Now before I talk a little bit more about my experience in Legion and getting up to 110 and how I'm enjoying this expansion, uh, I just want to let you guys know that every single Monday night moving forward at 6pm Eastern Standard Time, I'll be doing a World of Warcraft stream on my Twitch channel, so a link to that is in the description box below. So if you're watching this video live when it gets released, then I should be live right now. I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experience so far with the expansion and some of the levels that I acquired getting to 110. But I I will concede this video would have came out a lot sooner if I didn't lose all of my footage. So I have a couple levels that I've recorded but unfortunately not all the way to 110 because somehow I lost it while I was doing the recordings. Really shitty guys. However, we are rolling as survival. Now if you've watched my video before, um, basically my pre-Legion launch video, then you guys would know that survival was my favorite hunter spec going into this expansion. I tried them all, Beastmaster, Marksman, those two specs are good for damage, but I just didn't find them fun to play. Just very, especially marksmen, like standing still, shooting aim shots all day, having pretty much like a three or four button rotation. I'm assuming it's a four button rotation now with the artifact weapon, but before that it was a three button rotation. Just wasn't something that I was really interested in playing, and I felt that the utility was survival and using your melee weapon, which is something that's brand new to the hunter class, and Talon Claw is an awesome artifact weapon. I know some people didn't necessarily like the aesthetic appeal but for like a voodoo hunter with my transmog that I'll be using a little bit later right now I'm using a bit more of a fell stalker from Karazhan and Burning Crusade but it fits really well with multiple different transmogs so you can really look good while you're kicking ass. Now with the artifact weapon you have a lot of choices when it comes to survival but I mainly want to increase two abilities primarily. My explosive trap either with reducing its cooldown and my mongoose bite. So those are the two traits that I'm definitely focusing on the most and with the weapon you can get some really serious um, reduction uh, in the cooldown time for your explosive trap. You can get some nice damage increases for the mongoose bite and also you can get some damage increases for your explosive trap as well. There's also some perks for the raptor strike but raptor strike is more of a filler ability and you're only going to be using it if you have the talent uh, mock nathal uh, to increase your attack power to up to 12% so you're adding it into your rotation but it's not really your primary damage ability so if you try to increase the damage on something that well really isn't going to be used or spammed as much as mongoose bite or explosive trap then I think you're kind of wasting your artifact power at least at the beginning but ultimately your artifact points while you're level doesn't really matter that much until level 110 because the amount of artifact power that you need per point past like I think rank 12 or 13 it, it starts to get pretty steep like for instance I'm working on my 18th point and I believe I need to collect something like 18,000 artifact power so at the beginning only artifact power costs like 300 you know artifact power per point so if you do make mistakes don't worry about it. Most of the choices though are pretty good. But the first thing I went for for the survival hunter was the ability to reset my harpoon ability every time I kill an enemy. That just makes you turn into like a ninja. Every enemy you kill you just quickly grapple up to 40 yards to another target. And I felt that was probably one of the most important pieces in the weapon. So that's exactly what I went for first. And it wasn't even one of those cool abilities like that you can unlock. It didn't have like any epic ring around it. It was just kind of sitting in the middle of the tree and I felt that that was the most important for me, especially while I was leveling up. So at this point, I started off my leveling experience in High Mountain, which was one of my favorite zones, but if you play as a hunter, it's pretty much a no-brainer. The class hall is in High Mountain, it's True Shot Lodge. So immediately after I did my initial legendary item, I just started questing right away. And that's something about Legion that is awesome, that is different than the other expansions, is you don't need to go in a linear questing path uh, you know, by zone. You can just go to any zone you want, start off, and then kind of continue to move through the area. And I was able to hit 110, in the last zone, my last zone was Azuna. So I was able to do them all but Azuna. And I think they're kind of designed for you to do most of them. And if you do some dungeons like I did, at the end of every zone, you get a dungeon quest that rewards you, I think, roughly 140,000 experience, which is a pretty sizable amount uh, for Legion. 
And that's definitely worth doing, getting yourself into those dungeons. And I found that the dungeon queues, at least at launch, weren't that bad for specific dungeons, but obviously doing randoms is really rough if you're a DPS. But if your heals are tank, you're not gonna have any problems at all. So I was doing a mixture between uh, dungeons when I had the actual quests, uh, and then also completing the questing zones. And I found that I was doing a level every about hour and 45 minutes. Uh, sometimes sooner, sometimes a little bit later, but on average, every hour and 45, I was hitting a level. So you can clearly see that um, it doesn't take very long in this expansion to get to endgame because I think Blizzard put a lot of emphasis on the end game for this expansion rather than the questing experience getting to one t uh, getting to like level 100 like they did in Warlords because once you hit 110 you got to do like Suramar which is an entire entire new zone which I have already spent more time in than all of the other zones combined doing the questing line there. And it's got a really cool like Assassin's Creed-esque vibe to it where you're sort of sneaking around and using grappling hooks to get on top of buildings and completing rare quests and also kind of grinding for those heroics at the same time and your reputation. So there's a hell of a lot to do once you hit endgame. When I hit level 110 though, the first thing that I did, it was focus on my artifact weapon. And if you're gonna be going on that route, uh, I highly recommend starting the Suramar questing line. And I'm, this video is not gonna be covering that because you're only seeing footage from me going up to level 110, but I can do some more stuff about Suramar in another video down the road. Now, one of the reasons why I really like the survival choice other than the Marksman or Beastmaster was also because of that utility like I mentioned earlier. We get traps. The other hunter classes don't and that's actually one of the staples of the hunter classes was that ability to trap your enemies and you know the classic scatter trap from the arena days way back uh you know that's something that isn't possible to do anymore um, however there's no more trap launcher you get three traps tar trap which is works pretty similar to the aoe frost trap uh, which does the slow you have explosive trap which is um, one of your highest damage dealing abilities and should be part of your rotation. Uh, probably one of the uh, abilities that you need to prioritize the most other than Mongoose Bite. And then you also get the classic freezing trap where you can freeze somebody just like you could before. Uh, you just throw a target in, like in Warlords of Draenor and you don't have any problems and uh, that's going to be used for obviously PvP and Arena. So if you're going to be going with the Marksman route, or the Beastmaster route, you're gonna to have to use either Intimidation, uh, which is a stun that's caused by your pet, that's relatively the same, or Wyvern Sting, or even Binding Shot. Uh, my favorite of the three is definitely Wyvern Sting, but it's not the most popular choice because it is a sleep, uh, and that is on diminishing returns with things like Hex. So you gotta keep that in mind. If you're gonna be doing like twos or threes with a Shaman, then you should probably go with Intimidation or possibly even Binding Shot. Now, if you haven't played the Hunter class for a while, there's also changes to the aspects, and there's only three aspects, and they're cooldowns now and not passives. So you have Aspect of the Eagle, which increases your critical strike chance, and for survival hunters, your chance of generating Mongoose Bites charges, which is really important for your rotation. So if you're ever kind of popping all your cooldowns, you definitely want to be popping Aspect of the Eagle and lining up those six stacks of Fury. Uh, you also get uh, Aspect of the Turtle, and all classes get that. It's basically a Hunter Bubble. And then Aspect of the Cheetah, which increases your movement speed by, I believe it's 60% for like three seconds, and then it increases your movement speed by 30% for an additional eight. And that has a massive cooldown. So you're not able to run with Aspect of the Cheetah like you could before. And I think other classes suffered the same fate. You're not really able to use your movement speed buffs uh, as much as you used to be able to. I know travel form has changed a little bit as well for Druids. But anyways, guys, overall, the Legion experience has been really awesome. I'm addicted to it again. I'm hooked into the game. There's lots of objectives to do, grinding heroics, getting those reputations done, getting your uh, resources for your class hall, doing your class hall missions and quest lines. Uh, they rev definitely nailed it with, with Legion. I'm telling you guys, it's not just because it's a new expansion. It's been a couple weeks. I think after with Warlords for a few weeks, you could tell that this was going to be an expansion that people weren't really going to enjoy. But this one, you have players out in the world completing world quests, and I think it's important uh, that there's that interaction with other players again, uh, just outside your garrisons. I think garrisons had uh, implications on the game that Blizzard just simply didn't foresee, and you can definitely tell that they learned some lessons from that. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope to see you guys during my World of Warcraft livestream tonight. 
And if you wanna see some more World of Warcraft content, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know in the comments section below. I know I'm a daisy guy, but man, I love making videos for games that I love and World of Warcraft is definitely one of them.